Hey everybody, Flores here from onemoreblog.com. It's uh, the holiday season and we like Christmas trees. So when you are online, ask Flores for the Christmas crystal and I will give you one. And then you can place a spruce sapling. Make sure there's enough space around it. And I do recommend to not build it inside somewhere because it can grow pretty big. Then get your Christmas crystal and right click it against the sapling and you'll start to see particles meaning that it is now a Christmas tree of course it is very tiny so when you right click it again it will show you in the chat that you have to add a diamond an ender pearl and a redstone to it so you can go and get a diamond and then right click it now you've given it a diamond and you can see that it went from zero out of one to one out of one. So that's completed. Now you have to get an ender pearl and a redstone, uh, well dust, redstone dust 10 times. And when you have enough of that, and read these signs here by the way, you can right click and grow the tree. It will automatically grow into this one. You'll see lights and particles and maybe even one or more gifts. And if you have a gift, you can right click it and it will pop something randomly on the floor. And that's pretty cool. And the server will also once a day um, announce that there are gifts to check. So go to the tree and check it out. The cooldown between getting these gifts um, depends on the size of the tree though so the bigger the tree the better and let's go to the next one because if you right click this one you'll notice that there's more diamonds now it wants snowballs blaze powder and gold ingots and then when you give it to them to the tree you'll actually notice the tree will grow yet again to the third level and I'll show you it went from a sapling to a small tree to a bigger tree and again uh, with gifts but now the cooldown between getting these gifts is a little bit less than when it's that size and then there are four stages this is the last one and then when you right click it it will actually say the tree has reached its maximum level so when you get that message you know it's as big as it gets. So have fun getting those gifts. You never know what might be under your tree. This will be here from now, from when you see this video, until the end of the month, which is in a couple of days. So for this Christmas period, you'll be able to get gifts. And I will show you how it looks like. Once a day, this will happen and then gifts will appear below the tree and then you can go and collect those very cool a fun little way to get some extra items plus you have a cool christmas tree with particles and lights and everything from that big tree to a smaller one to a smaller one to the sapling and that's where it all starts so all you need is a sapling and some items to grow it but you'll have to ask me to give you a Christmas crystal because you're going to need one to turn it into a personal Christmas tree. Very cool. This is actually at Santa. So when you type slash Santa, look for the sugar cane or the floating Santa over there. And then in the back on the right, in front of that other big tree over here, are the signs uh, with all the information and instructions basically what I said in this video um, so get a sapling get a crystal go to your base find a spot that is safe for the tree to grow in and then start adding items to it so you can get gifts and get some cool stuff this Christmas I like it I like that I got a tree that's already really big um, Everybody can get one tree, so make sure you level it up so the cooldown between getting these gifts is the lowest. Ooh, ironing it, nice. Alright, 
happy holidays to everybody and i'll see you on the one more server